Boom shakalaka, absolutely massive signal for Bitcoin. And check out what altcoins are cooking up. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video with a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including absolutely massive signals for Bitcoin. And altcoins ain't looking half bad themselves, particularly this one right here. Before we get into it, guys, like the video. It helps out so much. Now, today, fear and greed down to 70 from yesterday's 74, still in greed and generally in the same territory for the past few weeks. The overall market also sideways today. Bitcoin at 43,621, Ethereum at 2289, Solana at $95 on an absolute tear. BNB at 268, XRP 61 cents, Cardano 60 cents, Avalanche $45, and Dogecoin 9 cents. And Bitcoin riding this line of support and resistance but if you take a look right here is on the bottom side of it this could be dangerous as we might see a little bit of a rejection from there but we'll kind of have to keep on going day to day now if we take a look right now as bitcoin price climbs here in black we see a decrease in the estimated leverage ratio a sign that traders are reducing their leverage risk and or getting liquidated and not <laughs> betting back in this suggests a more cautious approach to the crypto market despite the Bitcoin price uptick. Now, this will only go so long until the price starts climbing again, and I would bet leverage would be increasing. But very interesting right here. As of last month, investors who have held Bitcoin for 10 years or longer has just passed 3 million Bitcoin or 15% of the circulating supply. What that means is that it is shifting. The first 15 years of Bitcoin's existence was pretty much retail buyers. Well, from now on, the new buyer of Bitcoin is likely someone holding for 10 years or longer, which will further decrease the supply of Bitcoin, making it that much more valuable as the demand increases. Right now, on a shorter time frame, we can see that we're getting very close to a $50,000 Bitcoin based on these ascending triangles. We have a possible MACD cross on the horizon. Last time we had this, price shot up and we could have the same thing, putting Bitcoin on a measured breakout to roughly $50,000. And based on that, when Bitcoin's massive bull run will begin, once Bitcoin breaks that $50,000 mark, which is this orange line right here, that historically has called for a breakout session for Bitcoin. Very closer than you think. I know. As a matter of fact, Bitcoin is entering phase two, or like I like to call it, phase green, all up territory. If we take a look at the Williams percent R down here on the bottom, after breaking out from this red line right here, this was phase two territory in every single cycle. So we are not that far behind phase to about to start. As a matter of fact, this territory that we're seeing right now, 300% gains here, 35% gains, 8% gains. Now, if we're decreasing the same amount, that wouldn't be great gains from here. But this time could be different, especially when you consider those supply statistics like we were talking about in the very beginning of the episode. The mega bull pre-run continues. You can see a drop off and then sustained top. Well, that sustained top basically is pre-bull run. We are in pre-bull run right now. Things are about to get freaky deaky, especially when one of my favorite indicators is at an all-time high. Bitcoin's two-month OBV, the on-balance balance volume, is at new highs. Historically, it's meant a new all-time high was no more than two months away, and the top was six to ten months. That means new top, February, all-time high, June to October of this coming year could be very, very huge. On balance volume is one of the few leading indicators we have for Bitcoin. You can see this starts ticking up before price actually ticks up in each case. Well, it's ticking up already, breaking previous all time highs, likely going to send Bitcoin to new all time highs on the horizon. As a matter of fact, based on the two wave halving bull run, we're just in the middle of the first wave. The second wave doesn't even start until the halving, $200,000 estimated based on these rectangles right here by mid-2025 or even earlier based on this last chart we were seeing right here. And Bitcoin is just the tip of the iceberg because there is a whole 
host of altcoins like we're seeing with Solana right now breaking out. If we take a look at the altcoin market cap reflecting previous cycles with this Bollinger Band with squeeze that occurs right before massive rallies, not only that, but across of the MACD, both of these things lining up for massive altcoin moves. Again, likely being seen first with Solana. We see right here, uh, altcoins proceeding as usual, breaking above this zero line, sometimes getting rejected just a little bit right there, but they are well on the way. And what could potentially be one of the next ones, Dogecoin, an oscillator. Every cycle goes up an order of magnitude. Well, this is 62x, this is 370x. How many x's could we get right here this time? I don't exactly know, but I can't wait to see. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.